Hey guys, Michael here. Um, a few days ago, uh, Jose Philipp, I hope I pronounced it correctly, asked about the usage of a vocoder. So I had a project where I used a vocoder and just a quick preview or review of, of what I did or how I did it. So the song is here. I've loaded it already. It's a um, cover version of, of the song Machines Back to Humans from Queen. And um, there are some uh, vocoder voices uh, to to mimic some robot voice inside the song. And I tried to recreate it a little bit. So this is one of the first tries. The song is not finished. It's just a, a project I started and it's now lying around on the hard disk. Um, I didn't finish it. So um, a vocoder it's basically it has two inputs so it has a carrier which you see here it's this track it's a normal midi track and then the vocals and it it works in that it um let's see this is the the vocoder track itself this is the calf vocoder i used so it, it splits the signal into a lot of frequency bands and then modulates the carrier according to the frequencies in the voice and um so uh, just basically to the setup. So this is the vocoder here. Um, you have a calf vocoder, you have a uh, different number of bands. So let's go to 24. Uh, the rest is default settings. So you have a tech release, isolation things. You can tweak it endlessly. It's just um, basic um, to, to, to show how it works. And the thing is the vocoder has four channels. So this bus here is as a bus with you see here one two three four channels and um, um, the vocoder is just inserted as a plug-in onto, onto these four channels and then we have here the, the carrier which is a normal MIDI track I have here Synod sub effects and I have loaded the strings pad 5 patch from strings yeah and just did um, it's a pad synth and I just lowered the attack time because otherwise we have this swell effect at the beginning and uh, this is a voice recorded by me I, I won't uh, let you listen to this because it sounds horrible on its own but uh, here's just a, a mono input just filtering out a little bit of the lows and the compression to get the even levels and both are then fed into the vocoder and let's have a look audio connections so we have here the tracks and um, this here is the vocoder bus with one two three four channels and channels one and two are connected to the carrier so the instrument which is synod sub effects in that case and three and four are connected to the vocoder vocals and then the vocoder itself goes the channel one and two go into the master that's all uh, three and four you can also use them but one and two give a stereo image and three and four give just a mono image so i don't know how they are occupied but one and two is generally okay and then i routed that also to another track and recorded the output but now we have live so if you now do a change in the midi thing so this is the midi notes of the synod sub effects if you do a change here live online then they will be reflected immediately and yeah so let's listen how that sounds <laughs> Yeah, so that's basically it. If I if I just silence the vocoder, then we will hear just the the synth. Yeah, so it's it's just a synth and the voice and if we combine it then you get this robotic voice. Mm -hmm. 
So as you see the, the pitch and the length of the notes is taken from the synth and this is just how this melody here is modulated. Yeah, so you can also use chords, you can use pitch bands, uh, whatever you like on the MIDI, MIDI stuff um, to change that online. And yeah, so that's the output. So happy vocoding. <laughs> 